Hi, I'm Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is episode one of my iPhone 4 drop test series. This drop test is sponsored by Square Trade, the only logical choice when it comes to choosing an insurance plan for your mobile device. To save $5 off your Square Trade warranty purchase, go to squaretrade.com slash TSIG. Now you may be asking yourself, what exactly are we going to be doing here? Right here I have a new iPhone 4 and I have a new Apple bumpers case. I pulled this case out of the packaging about 30 minutes ago to ensure that it is a new case, it has never been scratched, scaved, dropped, any of the above to ensure that it is at its maximum durability and performance. The same goes for the iPhone 4. This was newly refurbished. Um, there are no scratches on the device at all, no blemishes, it's never been dropped. Uh, it has been used for a few days now, but it is in mint condition. So we're gonna use two new units to drop off of the roof from four different heights, three feet, six feet, eight feet, and 22 feet. Now, all of these will be simulated in a similar fashion. I'll have my camera, this camera, recording the phone itself. It'll be recording me dropping the phone at these various heights. Now, to prove to you that this is a real phone and not a dummy phone, during the test I will have the screen on. And what the screen will be filming is the drop itself. So inside this beautiful iPhone 4 is a beautiful 5 megapixel camera and I thought why not use that to my advantage. As long as the phone survives and makes it to the end, I plan to film each and every drop from the phone itself. So you'll have this video filming me drop the phone, and then have the drop from the phone's point of view. I've done all that I can to eliminate any errors that may come in the test. However, there may be one or two. The biggest one is that I will be dropping the same phone from four different heights. I'm not sure the phone can weaken per se, but it may, after several drops, start to lose its durability. Now, the second reason is the phone may not make it out to the end, and if it doesn't, I may not be able to pull the video off the phone. So I'm going to try as hard as I can to get that video off the phone and into this video, but if you don't see it, that's why the phone didn't survive. But hopefully, this Apple Bumpers case will protect the phone from all four drops and we'll be able to get the video off of the phone unscathed and unharmed. So let's get started. Let's get dropping. All right, this is the first drop from three feet. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Now it seems like the bumper's held up pretty well. It's kind of caved over here. There's a dent visible on the case itself. Other than that, though, it seems to be okay. The phone itself is still filming. Everything inside the case appears to be fine. And, uh, the this drop is about from six feet where you'd have it if you were holding it, talking on the phone, and you accidentally dropped your phone in three, two, one. One. Once again, the phone itself appears to be fine. Uh, the case got a little dishuffled here, but other than that, few dents, few bruises, uh, everything is pretty okay. Back is fine. Camera's working, screen is working, uh, buttons are working as well. All is well, six feet past. Okay, this next drop is from about eight feet. Three, two, one. Two, one. Again, the phone seems to be okay. Um, camera's still rolling. The screen is fine, no glass is cracked, no LED is cracked. Um, the phone itself appears to be great. Um, no visible scratches that I can see. Um, all is well. The case itself is pretty beat up, but you would expect that after a few tumbles, and that's $30 well spent. This drop test is brought to you by SquareTrade.com. SquareTrade is the only logical choice when it comes to protecting your mobile device. Two years of coverage will protect your phone from accidental drops, spills, tumbles, and rumbles. For just $99, it covers two years of damage, which Apple won't, and far undercuts the price of its competitor, Mobile Protect. A huge thanks of the folk. Ah, oh, crap. This drop test is brought to you by Square Trade. Square Trade is the only logical choice when it comes to protecting your mobile device. Two years of coverage will protect your phone from accidental drops, spills, 
tumbles, and rumbles. For just $99, it covers two years of damage which Apple does not and far undercuts the price of its competitor Mobile Protect. A huge thanks to the folks at Square Trade for sponsoring this drop test. To save five bucks off your warranty purchase, go to squaretrade.com slash T-S-I-G. This is the last and final drop from 22 feet. Will the iPhone 4 survive? Let's figure this out in three, two, one, drop. In three, two, one, drop. So there is the iPhone 4 from 22 feet. Um, wow, the face is actually fine. The screen has gone black. I can't get anything. Um, the back, as you can see right here, is totally shattered. Um, the camera seems to be fine, but you can clearly see into the phone itself as we go around the band. Um, that's okay other than a little warping right here. But uh, it will not even turn on, so that is not a good sign. Hopefully we can get things up and running. So I'd say that for free, the Apple Bumpers is a pretty good solution from protecting your phone from pretty easy, regular, everyday to day drops. This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, coming at you with a sad iPhone 4. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later. This drop test is sponsored by Square Trade, the only logical choice when it comes to choosing an insurance plan for your mobile device. To save $5 off your Square Trade warranty purchase, go to squaretrade.com/tsig.